Alrighty. I'm gonna go live now. Tonight I bring you white black legacy Dutch stacks. Um, so it's <clears throat> prison deck. I was gonna add smokestack to it, which is generally the staple card of stack stacks. Um, smokestack has underperformed in testing and whatnot, so I decided not to this time. Um, Chains by Fistopheles, I feel like is gonna be necessary, although I'm not usually very huge on it because cantrips like Ponder, Pyridane, um, solar cantrips like that, rather than like Brainstorm, don't get as affected by it. Like Brainstorm, obviously, you're drawing three, you're discarding three, then putting two back. It's actually like really, really bad with Chains in play. Ponder and Pyridane are still like card selection. Basically, you get like one looting effect. So it's actually not really huge there. Um, Baleful Shrek, same deal. Like, sure, it makes them discard a card and then draw a card. It basically it turns every one draw into a loot. Um, which is fine, like they're not getting the card advantage from it, but at the same time it's not as good as it could be or I would like it to be. Um, but we still have Chalice of the Void to shut down cantrips. Um, we have Transfers to slow down um, spell decks like to multi-spell. Um, I've actually put two Kaya in here, uh, Trimmed in Elspeth. I still have one Sword and Grim Nemesis. I'm going to try out an opposite at. Uh, overall I think Upset will be okay. It'll give us the ability to Mix this with like, <clears throat> um, gives the ability to have like a creature that can like get in for good damage and plus it drains so you can get that through like a moat. Um, it avoids the abyss. Uh, it can get us some life back from ancient tombs. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna try to knobs that. It's probably you know really bad and cheesy, but I'm gonna try it out. Um, Four Crucible Worlds for like your land recursion allows you to do like waste lock, allows you to pitch card lands to Mox Diamond and get them back easily. Um, so yeah, it also allows us to chain gargoyle castles. The gargoyles that this land makes are three, four flying that are artifact creature tokens, um, which gets around the abyss because the abyss cannot target artifact creatures. So that's why that's there. They also fly over a moat, which is nice. Um, sideboard is three ley line of sanctity, four humility, um, two tox deluge, three ley line of the void, or four ley line of the void, excuse me, and then uh, one nice souls betrayal. And then a third other end on the sideboard. Other end has been is like surprisingly actually pretty good in this deck. It's been working out really well for me ever since I started playing it. So we're gonna try it out. Um, we're gonna try and get in the league match now though. See how it goes. My draw. I play tested this bunch earlier. My draws weren't really coming together. Um, opponents pretty much always had answers to whatever I had. So it was a little frustrating earlier playing this deck as for some practice games. But we're gonna try it out and hopefully it works out. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Alright, so we lost the die roll, which is pretty much how most of my day is gone. Um, this hand's really slow. Can't do much with any of that in the mulligan. Uh, this hand's a little faster. We also got like Wasteland plus um, Crucible, so that's good. We can resolve a Crucible. Our opponent's on Greedy Mana, which is we're after that Snow Cover Plane, so this is Death and Taxes most likely. Aether Bow pretty much settles that one. So this hand isn't great already. But we got some basics, so we'll have plenty of mana. If we can get a Crucible Wells in play, we can get even more mana. We can make sure we build our mana, resolve pretty much anything that we draw, so that's a good start. We got a basic planes right off the bat. Uh, put this Mox Diamond in play, pitching Gargoyle Castle. Uh, if they don't play a Thalia next turn, we're going to jam a Crucible Worlds. Um, good things about this hand are like, we can still like waste lock their non basics if they're drawing them. They end up on like two or three plane, snow covered planes. It doesn't really matter. Like, waste lock's not going to matter, but they end up on like planes, Crocus, Cavern Soul, stuff like that. We can restrict that mana a lot. Friction Invoker, finding Mox Diamond, which is unfortunate for us. And they are on double, double basic. So, off to a rough start so far. <clears throat> we're okay here, pretty much like Athalia. Restricts our mana because we can't use our Mox Diamond, so we're still stuck on 2 mana at this time, at this point. One of the changes I made to the deck was adding a third Ancient Tomb. Um, I feel like another Ancient Tomb is actually kind of necessary, so... Faster mana is definitely better. It's possible it should go up to the 4th Ancient Tomb. It should maybe be less artifacts in the deck, a little more, like, Non, uh, non artifact permanents. Chrome Mox can get a little awkward at times. Artifacts also, even if they could pitch, they don't have color, so you can't have them for color. 
port's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass for us. It's going to keep us off three mana again, unless we can draw an Ancient Tomb. So, and they got double Bile down, so they're going to be able to deploy their threats pretty quickly and easily. I'm just going to play another Swamp as I go. The moment we are protected against Wasteland, hopefully they don't just get a Thalia in play. If they get a Thalia in play, it's going to take us maybe a lot more time before we can get our Curse Will in play and really develop our mana. Um, been having a lot of troubles with drawing too many lands. I'm up to 25 lands. I was at 24 originally. I don't know if that's correct or not. It's starting to feel like it's incorrect, but I was getting a lot of mana screw before I had the 25th land. It's kind of how just one of those things go. Like one land makes all the difference sometimes. You can go from complete mana screw to complete mana flood. Just a bit of variance that happens. It's not a big deal. Just smile and try not to cry, I guess. Alright. Adrian's not terrible in case they answer something that we have. They're not going to really be able to answer. Main board, they generally aren't going to have like shatter effects, so. <clears throat> Vagrant isn't particularly relevant here. Uh, Crucible now in play. We'll be able to place Wasteland, get rid of their port. If they play other non basics, we'll be able to get rid of those. Hopefully, we'll find a Tabernacle and tax their mana a bit more if they start going a little bit wider with their creatures. This is a very slow draw from Death and Taxes, but three mana for whatever they're playing. Mirror is pretty good. <laughs> Mirror has protection from most, pretty much all of our decks, so. We do have one Night of Souls Betrayal on the main board, which I would love to draw at this point. Nerfs the new Mirror Crusader really well. He'll kill a Roker. He'll keep Folly and Mom off the board as well. So Night of Souls Betrayals would be a great top deck here. So we're about to take six. Yep. Some damage coming through. <clears throat> Filing in before damage. Folly, okay. Sure. My Souls Betrayal, not quite as good a draw right now. If they port us, we'll be stuck one minute short from My Souls Betrayal. Oh, look, Mox Diamond. Perfect timing. Um, yeah, Mox Diamond doesn't really matter. We're just dead. We're just going to go ahead and go ahead and continue the game. This is what I was talking about. A lot of our draws just have not been coming together. It's been very frustrating, but hopefully make it through. Uh, this matchup, we have a lot of good stuff to bring in, like Tox Deluge, a second Night Souls Betrayal. Um, humilities are decent against Death and Taxes, naturally. Chains of Sothles is just downright miserable against this deck. Um, not convinced in Sword and Green Nemesis since it costs so much to cast. The Abyss is great. Chalice of the Void on the play, I'm okay with. I don't think I particularly care much for Transfer, though. Um, Transfer can definitely slow them down a lot, but doesn't really do that much. Crucible can protect our lands, so we kind of have to keep the Crucible in there. We could bring in a third other end, but I don't think that's correct. This hand is garbage. These are the hands I'm talking about. It's complete straight garbage all the way through. Um, okay, well, again, this hand's got Toxic Deluge, Crucible Worlds. I got another land on top. I got Fetch Lands, so I can make sure I get basics and fix my mana, so I kind of have to keep this hand. Vile again, okay. Oh, it's got that vial. No, it might have been worth it to play the second marsh flats out there. Mostly just because if they do decide to pit the needle to try and get this marsh flats, um, if I fight, even if I fetch in response, they still name marsh flats. I won't be able to get this one in play and use it. Well, I can get this in play, but can't use it. I do have an Orborg Tomb of Yogwath in here, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's dead, but it's probably worth noting that that could have been like a line to think of. I would highly doubt my opponent would play Needle and name Martial Arts against me, though. The moment my opponent doesn't really know what I'm doing. Okay. Chalice of the Void, just a, just a wee bit too late. So 
I got basic plains, basic swamp here. And I'll play my crucible worlds. Hope my opponent didn't bring in a have a dis doesn't have disenchant in hand. Um, next time we'll hopefully be able to get value off the crucible worlds and returning fetch lands. <clears throat> Um, next turn, I'm going to try and jam Humility. It might be worth it to put a Redundant Crucible Rolls in play, but I just don't think Disenchant's what we're going to see here. It's a Wasteland, doesn't really matter. This is one of those, like, hands where, like, if we had the a Council of Judgment after that, okay. Perfect. <laughs> you know, as long as I don't file them falling, I can still play the second Crucible Rolls. I have a feeling they're going to, oh, they didn't, okay, cool. Um, hmm. So I think I want to do this. Get Crucible Worlds in play. Play a Chalice for one. Shut down like Source of Plowshares if they still have in the deck. I don't think it's going to be particularly relevant. I can also just reset this with Flicker Wisp. Chalice is pretty weak here, but kind of just want to play out some things. See how much we can restrict them. Again, I don't think that like shutting down Source of Plowshares really does anything against us. Um, if we don't really have creatures, we have like the Gargle Castles, the Obzat, and stuff like that. At the moment they have Crocus, so Obzat's actually pretty awkward. We need to find a Wasteland. Um, their mana right now is pretty weak, aside from the Vials. It's possible I should definitely have some... Uh, I should probably have some number of Sorcerer's Spyglass on the sideboard for like stuff like Vile. Um, also opposing Planeswalkers. Rexing Evoker. What are you naming? I feel like I've got some of my early iterations of this deck, but I actually don't currently have it. I probably should. Nope. Next time we can play Marsh Flats, uh, Fetch, just get another basic, and uh, Jam of Humility. Okay, three mana, what do you got? Flicker Wisp? Maybe American Crusader? Flicker Wisp, okay. We jam and humility that time is probably better. Okay, yep. Their battles are both past one, so there's a chance they have Mother of Runes in hand or anything like that, but that's why they'd want to get rid of the Chalice of the Void on one for sure. My guess would be they have a Mother of Runes in hand they would like to cast this turn, because they could have they could activate Battle Put in Flicker Wisp and get rid of Chalice at any point in time. Um, so I think that it's probably going to be a Sorcerer's Speed like Mother of Runes. Maybe a third vial, who knows. Okay, or not. This also shuts down my Mox Opals and Mox, Di uh, Mox Diamonds and Chrome Moxes. So that is relevant as well. Tapping Ancient Tomb, yep. <clears throat> Having a different land than wasting Ancient Tomb is probably better, but... And right on time, Mox Diamond, right after we get this happen to us. Not a surprise for what my luck's been lately. <laughs> uh, if I sound salty, it's because I, I am. <laughs> Uh, so this is exactly how my life's been lately, with a lot of magic. It's really unfortunate, but it happens. I'm finding a lot of draw mox diamonds after revoke draw mox diamond, or mox diamond after my opponent resets my chalice or plays the chalice for zero themselves. I actually had a game against Merfolk earlier where <clears throat> um, I had a chrome mox and mox diamond in hand, or chrome mox in hand. They played a turn one chalice for zero, and then turn two they... Um, um, turn no turn one they played a chalice for zero and turn my turn one I drew a uh, mox diamond or whatever the other mox and I didn't have in my original hand so <laughs> it's the kind of luck I've been running into lately so we can easily get a board wipe here by playing Tox Deluge for one um, at the moment we're shutting down their creature abilities like the flick west ventures battlefield stuff like that we don't have to worry about like any tricks or whatnot so that's good we still have to worry about this port and double wasteland it's a little frustrating. Or ends up terrible. It's not great though. Like it's not gonna. It's not better than Tox Deluge here. So that's pretty much what we're jamming. We only have to pay one. Because all their creatures are all one with no abilities. It's really unfortunate if they go ahead and file into the creature that we're gonna have to answer. But that's what happens when your opponent's files in play. Instant speed creatures is a good thing. Really guard. That's the last card in hand, so that's pretty good. 
See, this is like where last last game I could have had Crucible Wastelock, and this game I don't have a Wasteland. And that's pretty much how it's been rolling. I do have four Wastelands, so hopefully I'll draw one soon. I'd like to be able to trick their mana and keep them just on Vile mana. I have two other ends in here that can take care of Vials, so... <clears throat> Even a Gargoyle Castle here actually wouldn't be too bad. I can start chaining my 1-1s. One just something. I'd like something. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna cast the other end. I'll draw like a sword or something rather play that. Look at that wasteland, perfect. Let's get the rid of the second white mana. I'm just gonna go ahead and cast this other end now. I'm gonna get rid of their vial for three. Last card now was another three drop, okay. Oh well. It happens. I'm not mind drawing a tabernacle here. Although it doesn't really particularly save us at the moment. Moat would be pretty good. Another port. Jesus. <clears throat> Nice Souls Betrayal would also be a very good top deck right now. Would not minus Nice Souls Betrayal. Very good. Soren wouldn't be terrible, I guess. I guess Soren would be actually kind of bad because I can't really cast it right now with the mana I've got going. Okay. Uh, Moat's pretty good. Right, well, let's do that. Keep them out of me, off of me. I can replay a wasteland and start wastelanding their <clears throat> lands away. If I can hopefully keep them off three mana for a few turns, I can keep them from being able to um, cancel judgment if they draw a second light source. The abyss is pretty good as well. Surprised they didn't do anything with their lands on their upkeep. So between the moat, humility, and the abyss, we should have this locked up. Who knows what could happen? As I stated before, this is my life, so <laughs> terrible things could happen from here. Find this trigger on the stack. So, at this point, with these three permanents in play, I'm not sure what they could do to win. We'd have to draw like multiple Council's Judgment, doesn't get whatever it may be. Um, Lean and Relic Warrior would not be an out to anything because of humility. Book Horse was an out because of humility. And it has no creatures for this. <clears throat> hey, look, another wasteland. Sweet. Uh, well, let's play this wasteland from our graveyard. Here, this last port. Pass turn from there. I found another white source. <clears throat> okay. Well, we got 
like them to use their wasteland, even if we were wasteland anyway. That's good. So I want to keep them off mana at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm drawing all my wastelands, so that's good. A little bit later in the party than I was hoping they would be, but we're finding our wastelands, which is good because we want to be wastelanding them. We want to get them down below Council Judgment Mana. <clears throat> we are down a game currently. I wouldn't mind drawing Night Souls Betrayal. Rest in peace. Okay. It's a little annoying, but that's fine. I don't particularly need my graveyard at this point anyway. There's my fourth wasteland. Right on time. <laughs> it's your thing, buddy. All right. <clears throat> good draws. Good deck. Okay. Not sure why my opponent's still in this game. Well, there's a redundant humility, which is nice. Let's play that out. We'll keep these wastelands in hand in case they play non basic that I'd like to answer. <clears throat> Rather than not have the ability to wasteland them and lose my wastelands for nothing. Look, a wind condition. Yay. It's a wind condition that can't fly and can't do anything right now. That's sweet. <laughs> it's a 1 1 no abilities. Yay. <laughs> oh, Gargoyle Castle. Oh, I guess end of turn we're just going to make this a creature. Let's do this. We got a 1 1 colorless gargoyle artifact creature token when not flying. <laughs> Yay, can't attack. Yeah, post board's a super combo. It's still an artifact, so this doesn't kill it. That's sweet. There's that. Oh, look, another Crucible Worlds. Perfect. Let's get that Crucible Worlds in play. Let's just play it for the hell of it. Well, it's not attack because we can't. I'll play out one of these wastelands. <sighs> My phone's really just wasting their time though. We have 20 minutes left, they have 11 minutes left. Okay. They want to waste another 8 or 9 minutes and then struggle in game 3, that's fine with me. I'm just getting off my ass. Or the abyss. We can't have another abyss in play. World enchantments destroy the, any world enchantments that are there before them. No need to waste an abyss when they might be able to answer it. Yeah, another land. Woo! I'm taking off here. Yep, send the deck out. <clears throat> trying to how many lands I have left in this deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I have seven lands left in the deck. I have 30 cards. I don't think I'm bound to draw that many of them, but we'll see what happens. Oh, Mox Diamond, perfect. Just what I was hoping for. I'm so lucky. <laughs> My opponents used one Council of Judgment so far, so odds are they have at least another Council of Judgment. Would be my guess. Um, they might have Cataclysm, so that's, that's something to definitely be aware of. So I might actually want to start sandbagging stuff. Probably should have been sandbagging stuff already. Well, that's tempting. Um, well, odds are it's going to be Council of Judgment over anything. We have all the three minor facts in play that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and get this into play for three. 
Um, this will shut down council judgment. Obviously, we're still going to be week two. Um, obviously, we'll still be week two. Cataclysm thing did bring it in. What are you doing? You know, swords this in response to a chalice for three. It's an interesting play. Ah, there we go. There we go. So they are probably drawing down to a um, council judgment and challenge for three shots down out. Um, so I'm just going to go back at it with this. <clears throat> we might actually want our sword. What do we hate here? We're on the we're on the draw. So chalice seems weaker here. Well, board out of those. Chalice could still be good, but I'm not convinced it's going to be the best. Extra outer end, the Soren, for some reach, and play through humility is probably good to have. Some number of Sorcerer Spike last should definitely be in this deck, though. Pretty much convinced of that now. I feel I'll shut down the vials, is a little bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> Um, uh, this isn't terrible. Super weak to Wasteland, super weak to Revoker. That seems great. Um, hmm. I'm gonna try it, because it's got a bunch of mana here. But, I yeah, definitely need, a, I definitely would love a second white source. Um, a, a basic off the top would be nice. Chrome Mox isn't terrible. I'll cast that right off the bat. So I can actually turn one something if I'm so I can actually turn one in humility here. So I'm gonna do that. Max Diamond. Max wasteland. That. Yeah. And I can still, if they don't wasteland me here, I can next turn I can play the abyss. So let me try this out and see if this worked out for us. Sometimes you get lucky. Disenchant. Oh, Revoker. Okay. That doesn't have any abilities. That shouldn't be able to name something. This should not be able to name something. Please work for once on TGO. I mean, it doesn't matter. It can't stop it because of humility, but with humility, the new rulings like Blood Moon, um, there's no as it enters the battlefield BS, so that shouldn't have happened, but oh well. What can you do? Only MTGO after all. Here's an Abyss, which can't hit the Revoker, so it's awkward as hell. And next turn I'm probably going to try and get, well I guess I would need another Ancient Tomb to get Chalice on Fairy. I might try to just jam a Chalice on too though. Next turn. I wouldn't mind Night Souls Betrayal here. And chalice on two to shut down Rest in Peace, Thalia. It's mostly their two drop creatures really. If I end up drawing a Crucible, a Chalice or two will help. Um, keep the rest in peace off the board, which is nice. If they have disenchant, off the disenchant, they'd have to use it now. And Chalice can shut down any future disenchants. So this is where we're at, pretty much. Now I just gotta be careful with my life till because this ancient tomb's ripping me apart. Wasteland, that's a good card. <clears throat> I love Crucible. Crucible worlds make me happy. Very good. Okay. You can hit the bear room. Sure. Right. Give me a slow clock, but hopefully it does not get there. Scrubland's not terrible. Last turn. Okay, trim the crucible post blood right? That's one of them. No, I didn't. Okay, that's good. I'm glad I didn't. Council's judgment probably. Active authority. What the fuck is this? Well, fuck that card. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Okay. That's a really good card. 
Jesus fucking Christ. So I get to exile something now. Oh, and it doesn't come back if this leads to battlefield either. Well, that's some fucking horse shit. Fuck commander players, man. <laughs> Fucking commander card. Figures. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected anything else. And of course, it's on your behalf, too, right? Yeah. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Um, I don't want to put this in a play while that's in play, so that's not a thing. Um, fuck me. That's some bullshit. <laughs> so they're going to get one more. I'm assuming it'll probably be the chalice. Might be the best, but it's probably gonna be the chalice. Um, they get one more thing now. And if they do, they, I gain control of action authority. I'm not passing it back to them though. I guess I could make the active authority take itself, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, okay, they're not actually doing it. That sucks. I might say just gen the Snyder Souls Betrayal now. Clear the guard's not bad. <clears throat> Love to find an answer to this stupid act of authority. That's something I've not seen yet. It's a pretty good card. Sufficiently giving me a beating at the moment. I think I might actually have to gen the Snap Souls Betrayal and I really don't want to. They'll kill the artifact creature the Abyss can't touch. They'll kill their recruit of the guard. They'll have to exile it, I presume. Um, I'm going to take damage regardless, so... Oh, geez, yeah, i got to fetch too. So let's go, let's swap. My right, Souls Betrayal. This will kill both of these. I'm assuming their active authority has to exile this, which means the Abyss is going to be back online, which is good. And my Mox Diamonds are also unlocked, which is good. I can't believe active authority just straight up exiles. It's actually not bad. It's pretty good sideboard tech against BS like what I'm playing. Oh, so even if I gain control of that, they can flicker with spit. That sucks. Wow, that card's fucking good. So they're going to flicker with that. And they're going to get my Abyss under turn, most likely. Damn, that card's actually pretty sweet into the taxes. This is some fucking horse shit, is what this is. I need a fucking Utter End, like, now. I can't believe that card just exiles, though. That's that's pretty good. Most of those cryptic cards, like O-Ring and stuff like that, where it exiles until it leaves the battlefield. That's, yeah, that's, that's fucking gross. Okay. That's not something relevant. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I can't activate that and block this. It comes in for attacks. If I go to three, it sucks. Getting owned by an active authority. It just straight up exiles a target artifact or enchantment. And then if you're MPP, you can do it again, and if you do, that player the artifact or enchantment's controller takes control of it. And then my death and taxes player flicker wisp it after they would have given it to me. Retargeting. They targeted their own active authority. Sure. Well, here's something I don't have Swords of Power Trails in hand. Oh, pay that, yeah. I should hope they don't have Swords of Power Trails at this point, but if they do, it seems wrong, but it's okay. I mean, they have 4 minutes and 50 seconds left. I think at this point, my best bet is timing them out. <laughs> okay, let's block your quick list. Get that the hell out of here. Hey, I saw my gargoyle. Turns our active authority can then take care of it. Palace Jailer? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, perfect. Ugh. Active authority is fucking me up. 
they took my humility, they took my dinosaur betrayal, and now they took my uh, abyss. This card is f really fucking me up. <laughs> uh, Utter End's pretty good. Only problem is this shit. So I can't. I'm gonna go to one. They have equipment. I'm just dead. Let's just wait. Uh, should probably just wait until they try to do something before they attack. I need to draw like a follow up too. Like I need to like it'll kill that stupid thing. Draw like a moat or something, and have them not have another one of those. This card is fucked. This card should not exist right now in this situation where I don't need, where I can't, where I don't want it to exist. <laughs> Up by this commander card. Cataclysm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yep. Let's do this then. Kill this little bitch. Cataclysm can resolve after that. This card. This fucking card. And they get to keep it too. Oh, that's so rude. Um, Swamp, Chrome Box. Done. <laughs> they want their next upkeep, they can exile the Chrome Box. I'm getting, now I'm getting killed by the Monarch. Ugh, life is tough. <laughs> life is tough. Life is not easy right now. Uh, maybe I should have. No, because Pal Palestrian would have just flat out killed me. So say maybe I should have exiled their stupid vial, but then I'd really be dead. I think at this point I'm just playing to time my opponent out. Maybe not. Remorseful cleric. It's cute. It's a threat. It's kind of what they need right now. Mox Diamond, perfect fucking timing. Thank you so much, Mox Diamond. You're exactly what I didn't need. Um, so I guess it's... Even Toxic Lose just kills me if I cast it. I don't think I have an out here. If I was here, I'm just dead. Yeah, I don't think I have an out here. Oh, they actually exile their own... Act That's weird. Why did they exile that? Oh, because they, they're losing time, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, it's hot and shitty up here, too. I shouldn't be wearing this shirt, but I can't really help myself. I had to wear a shirt, so there's that. We're just dead. There's nothing I can do here. I need to have a land that... I need to draw not only a land that comes into play and gives me life, but I need to draw Toxic Deluge. I can't do both of those things. And there's some my artifact mana. Perfect. And that's a match we probably should not have lost. Active Authority was a really freaking good sideboard card, though. I'm actually really impressed with it. And they had the Flickerist to follow up so they didn't have to lose it when I would have, after I gained control of it. That was pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so I got turn one transfer. I'm going to keep this. I'm on the play. I'm on the draw. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to get a turn one transfer. I can do a turn one chains. Fucking A. Definitely doing turn one transfer. This is probably a burn. Yeah, this is a burn. So we're getting a turn one transfer in play. Because F this shit. Alright, that's your one spell for hopefully a few turns. This is probably a burn point where like they draw like exactly three or four land and they still just kill us, but. Hopefully we'll get lucky, and that won't be the case. None of these cards are particularly relevant, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get any of these in play. <sighs> yeah, again, like Night of Souls Betrayal can like nerf like Swiss Spears and Goblin Guides, I guess. So there's that. Eidolon, yeah, sure. Obzat would be good if I can get that in play. Um, well. I'm gonna be taking damage either way, so I'm also gonna get the Abyss in play. We'll kill off the Eidolon. 
I have to worry about getting burned by them. Uh, I need a lot of colored mana if I'm going to cast this Obsidat, but Obsidat would be very good against this deck right now. So I would need to draw like Orborg, and then like Plains, or Orborg, any white source really. That would do it. Price of Progress for four. Yep. Not the best value I've ever seen on a Price of Progress, but it works. Uh, I'm really going to just hold up waste time at this point. If I have to, I'll probably just waste time my, my own waste land. Well, that's good enough for an opposite that, I guess. Well, hopefully, opposite that can just take over this game and we just win. Price progress. Uh, it feels eight to me. That's not good. We go back up to three, but I think we're probably just gonna be dead. My opponent can cast any card, and we're just dead at that point. Uh, yep, we're gonna need the life that comes back and play. So, another burn spell. Another burn spell, do it. Yep, triple price is pretty fucking good. <laughs> Inside boarding. All right, Layla Sanctis, very good. The abyss, I'm not huge on. Missile's Trail's not great. Other ends I feel like will be okay, just for the fact that they have shit like um, Sotiric Vertex and whatnot. Chains of Epistopolis are absolutely horrible, so there's gotta be something better we have, most likely. The Abyss is probably be the better card, honestly, even though I'm not particularly excited for it. That's probably fine. I'm good with Moat here, since it keeps our creatures back. Um, three Sphere still taxes them, Chalice of Light can shut down things. Kaya can kinda get in with some life. Um, oh, Tarwin Thoughtseize. I have a Kai, I have two Kai on my deck, by the way. Um, Soren can also like kind of deal damage to stuff, and there's a target creature Planeswalker, yeah. So Soren can still kind of deal some damage and gain us some life back. I'd love to be in the play. Um, this hand's a little slow, but it's got Leyline. We are still going to be weak to Price of Progress because Price is not target. So that's going to be one concern. Um, top deck of like Ancient Tomb would be great here, so we can cast like this Abyss pretty quickly um, to help keep their creatures under control. No, 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 just fuck! Mm, that's great. Missed a land drop because I clicked the wrong button like I wanted to do. <laughs> Very good at that. For any of you that aren't familiar with my stream and aren't familiar with my, me as a player, I'm very good at clicking the wrong button. Missing land drops and passing turns for no reason. So price of progress is definitely gonna be a problem for us. We are on all non basic lands at this point. Uh, Chalice will be a very good draw at some point. Flame Rift, you're one of those players. Oh boy. Yep, Flame Rift's a pretty good card. Yep, come on. Ooh, planes. Uh, let's play out a three sphere. Doesn't do much. It stops them from multi spelling, which isn't particularly a concern, but since most of their spells are trying to target us, multi spelling is not really a worry. Right now, we are looking at six damage per price progress. So I'd love to top deck a chalice here. <clears throat> price. Price, right? It's a dark vortex. That's not fucking good for me. Alright. It's one of those moments where I really just need to draw the, uh... It's one of the moments where I really need to draw another end. I have all three in the deck, so they find it. So right now... If I can, next turn, I would like to play Wasteland. Resolve an Elspeth. Hopefully get some damage. Hopefully start pushing some damage. Um, hold up Wasteland so I can pad the price of progress a bit. I mean, one price of progress and two of these kills us anyways. And we're not going to be that fast, so... I'm fairly certain we are very dead. There's a price of progress already. So, yeah, we're just dead. So, good fucking games. Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> On to match three. I think if we go 0-4, we're going to stop there and just not bother with the fifth round. <sighs> Ugh, that was a lot of price progress. Mm. 
Jason Duck was just a little too slow for that match. Definitely need to find Chalice didn't, so things like that will happen. Right. Lost another die roll. Our deck list has changed slightly since then, but yeah, that's roughly the deck list. There's now two nice old trails in it, and an obs that I don't think was in there when I updated it. Um, we're down to one sword in Lord of Instead. Um, it's my turn one Chalice. We got like a turn two Kaya, so try this. I'm not responding to anything. Probably looking at, I mean, there's multiple things we can look at. We can look at some type of show and tell. Um, we could be looking at blue black dust shadow. Um, we could be looking at Grexus control. Um, those are our options. And try this chalice run through a daze, basically. I want to make sure we get the extra mana out there so if they are a daze deck, we don't get hit by it. Could be looking at Storm as well. The yeah, island leads me to believe, yeah, Falcon Strix is Crixus control. Uh, the gargoyles you make don't die to, um, the gargoyles that you can make don't die to the Abyss. Um, something I actually got from someone named uh, Matt Kiefer. Um, he got ninth place at like SG Prov like six years ago or something like that with the blue black stacks. It was like basically one of the original Tesserator decks. Um, I was running like the Abyss and stuff. And uh, he was running Gargoyle Castles as his win condition. So Gargoyle Castle gets over remote, doesn't die to the Abyss. So it's kind of like good on all ends as far as that goes. Kaya's getting attacked. Um, so I can't activate Kaya again before she would die. So I'm gonna have to zero her this turn, lose two life. Seems like it's just blue black. I hit transfer, that's fine. Saw my wasteland, which is good. If I took like a crucible, I'd be very happy, but I didn't, so that happens. Uh, let's get rid of why is that mana? That shouldn't be mana, that should just be that. Uh, we're gonna zero this Kaya right now. Okay. Kyle will be back on our upkeep. Alright. Yeah, my next upkeep it'll be back. Uh, we don't care about the Belfast tricks. It's not really damage. That's not really push damage that we're worried about. I can get a Cruise Worlds. It'd be great to restrict that mana. They're on bug. Ooh, could be a Lurin. Um, this many like the basic forest leads me to believe it's probably a Lurin. Um, generally your normal bug control decks wouldn't have like a forest because it doesn't. There's blue. And usually your most your biggest concern is having blue mana. Um, so I'm assuming we're looking at a Lauren. But I could easily be wrong. Well, let's see what happens, I guess. Lauren does run like Baleful Strikes, him, Fatal Push, Ponders. I think they run Ponders at least. I know they at least run Brainstorm. I guess we'll see what happens. <clears throat> it's kind of annoying only getting one activation of Kaya turn. Sorn's pretty good. That's five, that's six. Okay. This means we can drain our opponent for two before we have to exile Kaya again. Uh, yeah, no point in killing the Delta Strix, might as well get play card advantage from it. We'll just zero Kaya for now. Chalice of Light, not really the card I wanted to draw, but hmm, it's something. I told starting it down there a bit. Uh, this is pretty bad against Belfast Strix. You know, draw a step, probably a click. No? Okay. I was assuming click would be there, but okay. Um, I think I need to just do that. So I need the life at the moment. Chromox is not great. Um. I guess if we're possibly against a learn, I'm gonna want a chalice for two to shut down Cavern Harpy um, for future Belfal tricks and stuff like that. Uh, chalice on three might be okay, but I think Chalice on two is just better. Snapcast Mage. Okay. Okay. So now I can't play this abyss out. 
one sucks. Next turn, I'll have to reset. If they attack Kaya, I'll have to reset Kaya for zero. Use Soren to kill one of these things. I can play out the Abyss and then probably use Soren to kill a Belfastrix, play out the Abyss, and the Abyss can take care of everything else from there. So this is probably. This might just be bug control, but. I really think it's a learn. Trox and. The truck seems like it'd be really awkward in bug control because there'd be like quite a few islands most likely. Well that deck would also have some number of abrupt decays, so this is pretty interesting. Okay, guy goes along. Um, I haven't seen Leovold in a while, but sorry for this. I'm going for a little bit of overkill, just for a little bit of extra life. Um, I don't think that's Mo Animus. I kind of want to moat, but I think the Abyss is probably just better. Maybe moat is just better. I think moat's just better here. We're going to play a moat out. We'll play the Abyss next turn, if this even resolves. This is a very good chance our opponent could like force at this point. It's a blue deck we haven't seen force yet. They've done a whole lot of Drago, so okay, no, not so much. My opponent messaged me saying, "Why am I playing playing EDH right now?" I guess we're just going to keep jamming things on the board until it's good enough. I haven't seen a whole lot of Leovolds lately. Leovolds been, I feel like Leovolds kind of been on the decline since, um, hey, yeah, there's a chalice out, look at that. Yeah. Um, I feel like Leovolds been on the decline since there's been a lot of decks that have, like, Power Blast and whatnot. Leovolds something when, like, you have to pay a lot of mana to kill it. I don't know. I'm crazy. We'll do that again. This again. Uh, Norborg. Play Transphere. Yeah, one mana like counter Leopold and the stack or just one mana destroy Leopold is pretty good. So I feel like that's why we haven't seen a whole ton of Leopold in Legacy lately. Kaya is a little awkward. I don't like the fact she has to kind of go away after a couple activations. Another well, abyss. Kind of sucks. Did I somehow pass through my turn? Yeah, apparently I somehow passed through my turn. That's fucking adorable. Alright, I'm going to start using Kai's minus one because I'd like to just close this game out. Really don't want to sit here and fuck with this all day. I don't want to give them too much information. We have Nihil's Patrol in hand. We're just going to hold that. They're almost dead. That's the sort of deal. Nihil's Patrol. Okay, so I already know about that, I guess. Yeah. That's fair. Ah, uh, had to be transfer. It couldn't be a fucking four mana thing. Should activate a fetch land. Let's see what we can do. Let's kill you. No crystal balls. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. I'm not really. I go with ley lines. They seem like they'd be pretty good. Um. Most of what my opponent had that would Charles would hit. Um. Was like ponder and shit like that. I don't think Chow's gonna be very good as a result. I want other ends as an instant speed answer to learn. 
can I Souls Control can shut down most of their creatures. Um, Humility shuts down their combo. So there's a lot of things I would like in this matchup. They're clearly not a wasteland deck and they have a lot of basics, so I don't think Chris World is going to be very good. And then um, if this is a Lurin, the Abyss isn't great against most of their creatures. So most of their creatures are going to be like Baleful Strike, Shadow's Agent, and then like combo pieces. So in general, I don't believe the Abyss is going to be something that's going to really keep their board down. Uh, this sounds fair. It's not perfect, but it's something. I can turn one emote. It's kind of cute. I want to change some of stop leaks, and it's pretty tempting. I don't have to overextend into a moat, which is nice. Alright, let's do that. I'm probably going to brainstorm response. We might spell pierce it, or spell snare it. Probably spell pierce, though. I can't pitch this deck as running spell snare. There's a force, pitching Chase the Mind Sculptor. So that's good. That's a good snag. Chase the Mind Sculptor can be a, kind of a pain in the ass. Another Mox Diamond, how delightfully awkward. So we got all our effect mana together, which is nice. We're not going to do anything on that turn. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. Well, last joke, your ultimate doesn't do much here. I think my goal at the moment, sorry about that. My goal at the moment, I believe, is going to be a Chalice at three on three. Um, chalice on three will shut down Crescent Grip, um, Maelstrom Pulse, which are their more likely answers to a moat. A moat doesn't really particularly care about Liliana Last Hope's ultimate, since zombies don't really fly. I suppose there's a random chance I felt kind of wonder that they get to discard. Doesn't seem very likely. Jace could be a problem, though, so I'll have to get Leyland Sanctity like at some point as well. Okay. Immediately targeting me at that, so we're going right up with Jace. So top decking other end would be pretty nice right now. And they clearly correctly identified that their planeswalkers are gonna be the way they win this. Yep. They put a card on top of our library, which doesn't bode well for us. The planes isn't great. I mean it's more mana. It's the mana we need for the chalice for three. If we draw the chalice, which I think actually boarded out chalice, so we're not going for that. That's right. Boarded out Chalice because, yeah, not great. So I need to find a ley line real bad. Ley line seems to be awesome right now. Yeah, I don't know if the Shrek's going to attack still. That's cute. So the library is a good card. Ley line ability, chase ability. Keep on top of Jace, we can shuffle. Make sure we don't draw a grep. Uh, we're gonna yield until the next end step. So if they do with their Jace, then we'll decide whether or not to fetch. Put her on bottom. It's unfortunate. I can take a draw step, that's fine. I'm not attacking with their belt for sure, say. It's interesting. Uh, nice little trail is not terrible. Tricks. So let me find answer with Jace. So I either need a ley line of sanctity so that our Jace can't continue to target me or Jace me out. Or an you know, other end would be work, right? Or in the third other end because we think this is a Lauren. Starting to think this is a bug control deck given the way this has been going. Haven't seen any Charlotte's agents, haven't seen any Leobolds, Noble Hierarchs, anything random like that since so it's clearly a bug control deck of some sort. Um, your emblem does nothing unless you have Crozen Grip. So maybe they have Crozen Grip. What do we got? The only button step. Uh, put a card on bottom. Okay, so they bottom two cards in a row. 
Only bottom of card we drew over the bottom of the card. So I'm actually kind of tempted to march flats at the end of turn. Really need to answer those J's. There's another place where, again, Social Spyglass is probably going to be a good addition to the deck, at least for the sideboard. I definitely think the main board needs to go down in the artifacts and up in colored spells, and maybe drop some of these. Being heavier on mana like these usually feel better, but drawing with money has just been miserable. Maybe two Chromox, four Mox Diamonds. Uh, Grimag Angler. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fetch. So we got another plane. Since we have plenty of black mana. Okay. Oh, they got an extra zombie because they had a Grimag Angler. Look at that. That's cute. Alright, yep. Chrome mock off the top. Perfect. It's fucking perfect. <laughs> so basically, we need to draw two good ones in a row. So if they Jays take up, target me. Assassin Trophy on moat. I guess I'm getting all in. Uh, so 24, 5, 6, 7. 7 damage? Okay, that's fine. So I lost early on already, which is nice. Another moat would be great. Yeah, so Jace would be perfect. If I can answer Jace here and then get like another moat, I'm in very good shape. Even another nice, no, another nice little troll won't do it. Another nice little troll would be like a brief board wipe. I draw all this shit's really fucked me up. A card on top of my library, I'm fucked. Okay, another loss. I think it's gonna be game three though. Yeah, Dead, right? Yeah, they have more than 10 on board, so we're just dead. So I'll put that card on top. Okay. Um, so, they're definitely like a control. I don't think Dinosaur's Trail is going to be relevant anymore. And the Abyss, I'm really not huge on, I don't think. Humility, I don't think is going to be good here. That and Dinosaur's Trail will be fine together, but I don't want to bank on having both of those together. Um, they don't seem like they're on a prep decay, so I kind of want Chalice of the Void back. Talk to is tempting, but I think oh. humility might just be better than that. Oh, nice Soul's Trail, Beautiful Strikes and Snapcaster May Age, and nerfing's on. Yeah, I think Nice Soul's Trail is just fine. So we're gonna try this out. Chains of Mephistopheles. I, s I don't know if Chains of Mephistopheles is really gonna be good, but. We're gonna try it out. Uh, I mean, our mana needs to come together, but we have Leyline, which means we'll be safe from discard and getting targeted by Jace. Uh, I want to keep this, but I don't think I can. I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, Leyline, there's that. Oh, hello, we're on the play. Uh, I'll start with Ancient Tomb as I go. This will at least protect us from discard, which is nice. Or board wouldn't be bad, so we can join this nice old trail. There's gonna be some assassins trophies, most likely we can expect. Chalice for two would be great as a result of that. Look at that. Sometimes you ask and you shall receive on all colors mana right now, which is still awkward. Okay. Shut down the assassins trophies, baleful strixes, snapcaster mages, Tark not relevant. They fetch here, and if they fetch here, this could be Assassin's Trophy, which would make me really sad. It also shuts off like random Gagari Charm if they have that. It also shut down their deck that we've seen so far. Hems already shut down because of the line. So, yeah. That's where we're at right now. Colorless Mana Suite's doing pretty great. Definitely love some more colored mana. Okay. Uh, be surprised if we don't see Liliana here. Watching a lot of basics. Finally on last hope, right? There it is. Turn three, both games. Which is pretty good. Nice planes, that's not bad. So I can't do anything with it. So I need one more colored source. So if I can draw a black source, I can utter end this Liliana no away. If I draw another white source, I can get a Lelspeth down. Which doesn't really do much because Liliana just kills the creatures one at a time, so not relevant. Ideally, I'd like a black source here. Okay, transfer doesn't really do jack, but I guess we'll take it. 
brainstorm response. That's fair. Okay. Can I get a black source? Black source of mana would be awesome. Black source mana also means that, like, if they tap out for Jace here, we can kill Lily on the last hope. And hopefully just kill Jace after that. Okay. We can't play Jace, though. That's sweet. Oops, I can't play Jace. Awesome. Another wasteland. Not good enough. Lion's getting close. Running into trouble here. Son of a bitch. Please get a black source. Orberg would be perfect. Yep. Still not a fucking black source of mana, because fuck me, right? <laughs> uh, alt here, probably. I can't picture the old, they don't ultimate this here. Yeah, right off the bat. Let's go straight alt. Bring us the deck with. Note. Still need a black source. Mint. I have quite a few black sources in this deck, I believe, right? So I got three marsh flats, three scrublands, two swamps, and an orborg. I should find a black source soon, but we'll see what happens, I guess. So we've only gone through like 14 cards. There's that. Soren's not great here. A lot of zombies at this point. Sorin's all sense really awkward with my nice souls of trail. So there's that. Another white source, perfect. Elspeth really's got some a soldier in play. What are you doing? I clicked on Elspeth didn't I? There we go. Uh, so I need to, yeah, I need to have it be a uh, orborg so I can cast nice souls of trail, which still isn't quite enough to answer these zombies. And it's awkward with Elspeth. Oh, it's, it's not turning out well. Yeah. Oh, they have enough to kill me, but I have a blocker, so I'm not dead here. I also can't use my ancient tomb anymore. So I mean, can I cast mode? I still I can't I can't even cast mode now. I'm just fucking dead. Great. Thank you, deck. Sandbagging over there. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Dak, for that. I appreciate that. I feel like that draw should have turned out way better than it did, but oh well. Oh three. Put up some. We're putting up some okay games. It's not as bad as it was earlier. I'm liking some of the changes I made to the deck. I don't know really where else to go to the deck. I think Sorcerer Spyglass. I mean, I know I keep saying that, but that's definitely something. Um, I feel like Leyland Voyage is too important right now. So I guess if it was going to be some source of Spyglass, it'd probably be the three Leyline of Sanctity and like the extra Outer End. It's like Outer End. Outer End's been good when I find it and I can cast it, but for the most part it hasn't been great, so like three Leylines and Outer End probably go for four Spyglass. We could also just drop like a Deluge and three in the three Leylines. We could drop like three Deluge, a Leyline of the Void, and like a Night of Souls Betrayal for the four Spyglass. I'm not sure exactly what's correct. Um, the moment Deluge, because I like Night Souls Betrayal and stuff, I don't know if Deluge is really necessary. You got a lot of creature interaction between the Abyss, Humility. Um, so if I did like two Deluge, a Leyland of Void, that could just become three Sorcerer Spyglass. If you have extra Outer End, it could probably become the fourth if I wanted it to. I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, hands just haven't been lining up. Sometimes you get all the mana you need in the world, and sometimes you're just like, oh, here's my four artifact, like, colorless wastelands, or five or six, whatever. I guess I used a couple wastelands there. It's like, here's my six colorless wastelands. Oh, here's an island. Here's a plains. No swamp. It does happen. 
Magic is definitely partially a game of luck. If only I at least had skills, so the luck didn't hurt so much. <laughs> All right, round four. Cheers. Come on, deck. Let's get a good one. No, please join opponent. Yay. Well, I'm dragon. Goody. Um, pretty bad. I'm a mulligan. Keep this. Tell my opponent that I'm 0-3, so I will scoop regardless of results of this. Fuck is a spell seeker. Okay. The fuck is about to happen to me? Spell seeker is a three mana creature. When it enters the battlefield, you may search library for instant source card with convert mana cost two or less. Do it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay. The hell is about to happen to me? And why do you care about Crucible Worlds if you're probably model blue? Uh -oh. <sighs> that train's coming. Oh my god. What a great hand. <laughs> uh, the value, discard a land, play a land from your graveyard. <laughs> play moat. Can't picture it's gonna be relevant against the stack, but hey, I don't want to get beat down with still a spell speaker. Spell speaker. Spell speaker. Seeker. Spell seeker. Sorn's not terrible. I guess I have to get rid of this other end, which doesn't seem like it's gonna do anything this matchup anyway. So there is that. So that's not bad. Uh, let's do that. Don't counter it. Don't counter it. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Let me have my soul in. Plane, sweet. Oh, good top deck. My opponent loses zero life. <laughs> Bolt. Well, oh, fuck you too. I'm bolting my fucking Sauron. Give me another bolt. It's gonna have sex because I clearly am not responding to shit here. There's gonna be another bolt and then like snap bolt. I'm gonna be so pissed. Sauron dying that easily is some bullshit. That's what that shit is. It's some bullshit. Oh god. <laughs> Five mana, what are you doing to me? Karanos? Wow. Well then. Um, he takes up by one, Soren takes up by one, so Soren's not going to be able to take up fast enough to actually, like, kill this. Which is kind of what Soren's supposed to do, but whatever. Um, yeah, this is not good. So at eight, you can emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, this emblem deals four damage to any target, and you draw two cards. It seems pretty good. <laughs> it seems like a pretty good emblem to get. What the fuck was that? Fire ice. Okay. Uh, Gargoyle castle is going to be pretty sweet. 
start punching that Rails Eric out. Do it until next time instead. So I'll make a gargoyle here, punch Rails Eric down, make another gargoyle. So Rails Eric won't particularly be able to protect himself. It would take multiple lightning bolts and stuff like that for my opponent to actually get me. So I think I'll be okay. There's that. Okay. Snapcast range. Targeting bolts. Alright, so they're gonna tap that down. That sucks. Means Rouse Eric's ulting here, which is not good. Oh, fuck me, I should have challenged for two. Kaya. Kaya's not good enough. Fuck. I needed that to actually work. I can play Kai here, I can help have her draw me a card. If I draw another my other utter end, I can kill Rouse Eric. But this isn't really <laughs> this is not good. Ice was pretty good there. Fuck me. So I can still make a gargoyle and another gargoyle. Ancient Tomb doesn't do shit for me. Rouse Eric ults here, so I'm pretty much just fucking dead. I didn't ult Rouse Eric first. Okay. Interesting. Why would you not ult this first? Okay. What are you doing? That would have been eight damage right there, right? Whenever you cast an answer source spells, yeah, that would have been eight damage and two extra cards. What the fuck is my opponent doing to me right now? They're probably already been dead there, so I don't know what my opponent's doing. Really done. I'm just gonna leave this now. My opponent should have killed me. Not sure why they didn't. I definitely want this extra outer end. The uh, sanctity is gonna be real good here. The uh, void's gonna be real good here. Um, yeah, humility is crap like that. Don't do shit. Chains is gonna be great. I don't think Curse Worlds is really necessary. Uh, Transfer is probably fine. Moat seems irrelevant. It comes down to Snapcaster beats. Like things have gone horribly wrong. It also means the Abyss seems irrelevant. Uh, Nine Souls Trail seems pretty bad. I guess I can keep a couple Crucibles because I can like make a bunch of stupid gargoyles. Uh, I think this is where we have to go though. Not pretty, but I got some, I got a plan at least. You know these could have come in, but like all they do is make Snapcast make one one with no abilities, Spellseeker one one with no abilities. Um, my opponent is running Mistress Factories, so that those animate to two twos, which is relevant. Although with Wasteland and stuff like that, like Mr. Striker is not particularly a big deal. Oh, the AKs were getting countered anyway. So why, yeah, why didn't they fucking... No, the Chalice was for one, not two. I'm so confused why my opponent did not alt the Rouse Eric before they started casting those AKs. So confused. Now I have two more games with this person. Like, what the hell's going on? What you doing, buddy? All right, and my opponent's doing. They're slow to start the match. They're slow right now. 
didn't alt their rails there before they cast accumulate knowledge on the ten line twice. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. play for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, it needs a little bit of help, but they on the void, chains, like this hand can't get there. I'll probably go scrub land Mox Diamond, Pitch Gargoyle Castle. I could go double Mox Diamond, I don't think it's particularly good. This will nerf their AKs, their Snapcaster Mages, all that. See if we can resolve this card. So my point, I think their deck's kind of sweet. Another Mox Diamond. Fucking perfect. Awesome. This is where life is great. <laughs> uh, I'm so good at drawing this shit. Every time. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and planes on trying to jam a transfer. So much of these mock diamonds are a little awkward. I don't really, I only have two crystals left in my deck, so I don't wanna take a chance my opponent have like some like shatter effect that just like by force or something where they can just wipe out all my mox diamonds and I'm kinda fucked. But between chains and transfer my opponent should be Fairly well nerfed. Um, finding Wasteland and at least a Crucible at this point would be very good. Whereas usually in this matchup, I don't feel like it would be very good. And my opponent has a decent amount of basics. Yeah, factory coming for the beats. Yeah, that's a lot of beats. Oh, no. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Meant to play a Mox Diamond there. At this point, I have a few lands in play. But. Jesus. So now that I've gotten rid of moats and all that, my opponent's on heavy land lands. And a Jace. Perfect. <laughs> Very different deck than it was game one. Put a card on top of my library, that's always a great sign. I'm probably going to be skipping this one. Yeah, there we go. Let's play out this Mox Diamond. Paying three. Get this Marsh Lots in my graveyard. <clears throat> Worth knowing, like, I guess Marsh Flats could have put in play, so if Jace is just putting cards on top of the library, I can shuffle. I don't know how relevant that really is. A lot of our draws aren't great here. I put a card on the bottom of my library anyway. Yeah, keeping Marsh Flats with a shuffle is probably better, but I think we're pretty much in deep shit anyway at this point. Like, they have double man lands, they have Snapcaster Mage, they have Jace. Like, we're not in <laughs> we're, we're not in uh, winning shape here. Okay. This is a little awkward with Kai and Chains, but. Have that extra Mox Diamond wasn't doing me good anyway, so I was happy to get rid of it. And we'll see, one, two, three, four, five. So I can make a Gargoyle and start pressuring Jace, which doesn't seem amazing. I think I actually was saying it right when you uh, messaged that blue team, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, putting Marsh Flats in the play was probably better than putting Mox, uh, Mox Diamond in the play. It's like the one freaking time in this matchup I probably ever want a, uh, I ever want, like, Crucible Rolls is right now with Wasteland or whatever. Get rid of these man lands. Have access to, like, Marsh Flats and Gargoyle Castle I can chain and whatnot. Okay. 
Let me yield to their end step. I'm going to make a gargoyle and start trying to pressure Jace. Um, it does require them to have their Shang Conclave tapped, otherwise they can untap it and they can just make it in a creature and block. Which, I mean, I guess if it gets... Oh no, I fucked that up again. I'm just fucking everything up all the time. I guess that they say I can make a creature block and then they can have a chance to bounce it or whatever. Um, it would have been nice if I didn't fuck that up there. There's a good chance, I think, right here where they're going to animate everything and try and just come in for the kill. So I can animate my... I can make my Gargoyle block their Conclave. Okay, maybe not. Will they use Jace? I don't think I really lose anything by just doing this now. It doesn't just die to Bolt or anything like that, so it's probably worth it to try. Um, at least, like, at least save myself two damage here, blocking the Snapcaster Mage. Gone. Oh, fucking A. Well, oh, my opponent's deck is very well set up to beat my deck, apparently. <laughs> Sweet, Marsh Flats, awesome. Oh, we died. It's a weird fucking game. Very weird match. Well, that went pretty quick, so we're going to try one more. I know I said I was going to go 0 4 and probably just drop from the league, but. It's only been an hour and 25 minutes of the stream, so I think we got to finish this fifth match as much as I don't really want to. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely got to add some Sorcerer Spyglass to the deck, um, post board at least, if not some number main board. My thought process that I suggested earlier, um, get rid of two Toxic Luge and a Ley Line for at least three Sorcerer Spyglass. We can get rid of the, the second Night of Souls Trail for a fourth. Um, Seems like that would be a, probably the best plan, but I don't know. Definitely gonna put some sources of spyglass in here. Um, other changes I would make to the deck. Wouldn't mind trying to find some room for Smokestack again. But I tested Smokestack earlier and I really wasn't happy with it. I actually suggested, I actually tested it in place of Chains. Um, chains hasn't been good though, so maybe Smokestack was correct. Maybe it's going to make the deck even more friendly to have Smokestacks in it. Like maybe it's like, hi, these going to be like the Soren that when it ticks up, it makes tokens. I think it's Soren Lord of Innistrad makes tokens when it ticks up. When it ticks down, you get like the emblem for plus one, plus oh, or something like that. Um, so we have like two Elspeth and two Soren that can make the tokens to feed into Smokestack um, to complement the Crucible Worlds to replay lands that can be fed into Smokestack. So I don't know. I'm not exactly sure where the deck should go, but definitely some changes need to be made here because this has not been a very great run. It's also been really awkward with all the mana. Like, this should probably just be two Chrome Mox, four Mox Diamond. Um, one of the Chrome Mox can become, like, something else. Obviously, that's been actually okay, but it's clearly bad. Um, this clearly shouldn't be in here. I just wanted to try it out just for fun. Um, Soren's kind of awkward. I don't know. I don't think he should be in here. There should probably just be, like, another Utter End um, in the main. So, like, that could make that could be the sideboard slot for the uh, fourth Sorcerer Spyglass of cutting these four cards. Um, Smokestack and Flagstones. Yeah, Flagstones coming back in the deck. I don't... So, like, Gargoyle Castle is something I saw in, like, a deck list that I had seen at one point. So I wanted to kind of try it in this deck, and it it's okay overall, but it's not great. Um, and the Buried Rune, like, really is basically irrelevant. These three cards could become three Flagstones fairly easily. They become three Flagstones... Yeah, I can see that. It's probably fine. Um, uh, mana base is a little atrocious. I'm usually much better at mana bases. Um, Tabernacle Pendulum Vale should probably be pulled out. But this is supposed to be like a kind of like Dutch stack style where like you get like all these expensive legend enchantments and all that bullshit in it. Yeah, I've been paired. I'd love to play first. Uh, I can turn one of the chains. I can turn to a transfer. It's fine. Let me try that. I have no idea how this is. I don't really 
really know who's mentioning me, but apparently I, they know me from the Legacy page. So I'm just going to hey, it's you. <laughs> So we're looking like a mile black deck right now, so that's sweet. I'll say thank you for your warm welcoming. I'm not really sure who exactly this Julian person is, but they're starting on a mountain, so I already don't like them. Oh boy, mountain pedal? I don't know. Yeah, I definitely don't like them now. It's probably that Ruby Red Storm or whatever, where they run like that. Or it could be Sneak Attack. It could be Mono Red Sneak Attack too, in which case this chain sucks really horribly right now. Um, what the fuck is going to happen there right now? <clears throat> oh yeah, they've just come out into the draw. Eh. Uh oh. Does it reach Emrakul? Sea attack Emrakul? My opponent does that. I actually have mana in hand, so I can like, maybe do something from here. Another mana Warfos is a little awkward with the chains in play. Let's go Burning Wish. Burning Wish, okay. This is definitely some type of Storm variant. I'd say it's clear, pretty clearly, yeah, Ruby Medallion. There it is. Yeah, Empty the Warden's sweet. Fairly certain we are very dead nerds here. Yeah, Mox Diamond's not going to get there. But I do need the colored mana, so I'm actually going to cast it. Uh, let's turn this here. I guess at this point, my hope is going to be top deck a nice Souls Betrayal. 14 goblins. We're going to go to 6 here. One turn to do that. Um, don't have the whole white, so I can't play a moat. Even if I draw one, but it's kind of sad. Okay, let's see what happens. My shot doesn't get there. Okay, well then. More people are playing that fucking deck, huh? Alright, extra nice souls betrayal. None of the abyss, none of this shit. Dragon remove. Um, it really doesn't work. Plus, he loses a sweeper, so that's cool. Uh, Leyland Sanctity, they do, they. It can be a grape shot deck, but they're generally gonna answer a card like that. Chains is probably bad. Uh, I don't understand what this deck is doing. I'm getting too old for this shit. This world definitely leaves. That's pretty much strictly for waste lock. I guess another utter end gives us an answer like medallions. Uh, I believe they do run passing flames. I was actually thinking of Leyline for that reason as well. Um, so that's where we're at right now. I'm going to cut one more card. I actually kind of like all these cards. I think I'm going to cut a Chrome Mox. They tend to be a little awkward. Um, Tabernacle is fine. Definitely going to keep that. Yes, I'd love to play first. Turn one, Chalice for zero, and Chalice for one. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Seems good. Ancient Tomb, Mox Diamond, which went. Done. And that. I guess Chalice for 2 is probably more relevant against this deck, though. Like Chalice for zero shut down like lowest pedals and stuff is fine. Chalice for two probably should have been the second chalice. Or it's just been a chalice for one and the next turn chalice for two. Chalice for two would have been way better though. That was a mistake. Well, I'm not really used to this deck. This isn't exactly a deck that you uh, kind of plan for and generally play test against, so. What do we got here? They discarded a reforged the soul. Okay. 
So we won't draw anything that's relevant here. So we have any mana pretty much for anything we need except for Sorin. Okay. Well, it's drawing and discarding. Okay. Interesting. So discarding reforge the souls. Why do they want to discard those cards? Did my opponent mean to? Did my opponent mean to mulligan? They didn't. I don't think Leyland's really relevant. But it would require them to have like Burning Wish for Chaos Warp and then Grape Shot to kill me. If that's a Grape Shot plan. Kind of the other reason I really brought it in. It's weird. Another land, so now we can cast Sorn if we draw it. That's pretty sweet. Discarding Act on Impulse. What are you doing, opponent? I wonder if they kept like a Lotus Petal or a couple of Lotus Petals or whatever. Um, they might have kept a hand that was like a couple of Lotus Petals and like rituals and stuff, so they're anticipating the Lotus Petals would get them there. I mean, my best guess as to why they're just drawing and discarding and not doing anything else in playing lands. <clears throat> Sandstone Needle. That's a good one. Wasteland? Come on, one time. Let me draw a Wasteland. Oh, I shouldn't have played that. That actually gives them the ability to not have to remove depletion counters to use mana from this. So, like, now they can, like, tap that for black. If they get a mountain, they can actually continue to make, you know, one in red. As much as possible without having to use this and get rid of it. Same time though, we're not really putting on pressure. They're getting all this time in the world to build their hand, get stuff together. They know that we're obviously a prison deck like this, so yes, I think they learned that from game one. Uh, So they're able to use Sandstone Needle for black there. Exhaust and Spirit Guy. There's a Burning Wish. The Sandstone Needle would at least be at one counter right now. So if they had to use it once more, they would just lose it. But now because I have Orborg in play, they don't lose it. Adrian doesn't work very well. Well, they just got a Shattering Spree. Barry Druin can at least rebuy my Chalices. So if they try to kill at least one Chalice, I can get it back. And actually. A chalice on two or three is actually better than a chalice on um, one or zero. So, if they do destroy a chalice, I'm going to return it. I'll play a chalice for two. Shuts off more of their deck. Shuts off their burning wishes, half their rituals, um, their medallions, stuff like that. So, actually, not. Ex I'm not actually sad if they destroy a chalice here. Medallion. I have a fucking marshal. That's perfect. This is what I'm talking about. This is the game where we didn't really need the extra mana. We keep drawing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, ho I'm hoping that they kill a chalice and they can't go off after that. This is part of variance, though. Sometimes you don't draw the mana you need. Sometimes you draw too much of it. All part of magic. Moat. Well, at least they go on the Empty the Warrens plan. Uh, at least they go on Empty the Warrens, we have the ability to not die to it, so that's cool. It's just another obstacle, which is basically what Stax is. Stax is like all these cards that they have an inherent power level, and they're all just obstacles for your opponent. And generally, you try to get enough of them where your opponent can't really dig out of it. And sometimes when they come slowly, or sometimes they've come in the right order, etc. Sometimes it doesn't work as well as it, does. You should, it should, but... The moment we're getting kind of the things we need. A wasteland can shut down their sandstone needle, which would be nice because of that shattering spree in their hand. Um, but shattering spree actually can open this up to make a chalice for two, which is better against their deck in general. 
Um, and I'd rather not put a Chalice for two out before um, they cast a Shattering Spray. Because I'd rather not lose all my Chalices, essentially. I'd actually be more apt to put a Chalice for three before a Chalice for two at this point. So they have like Act on Impulse, they have Burning Wish, they might have Bonus Ramp. <laughs> or not Burning Wish, Seething Song. There's a good chance that this is that stupid bonus round deck. Um, so that's another thing to think about. I'm just going to play this Nice Souls Betrayal. Now we are very not dead to Empty the Warrens. And they still have to work past this ley line for the Grape Shot. So if we can draw a threat at some point, we're good. We still got the Obsidat in here, we got which can't attack them, but can at least drain them. We still got the Soren, we got the two Kaias and the two Elspeths. So we've got like a decent amount of stuff that can be threats. We also have the two Gargoyle Castles. I have drawn a land, I would love it to be a Wasteland. I'm going to send some needle so I don't need waste at this point. Alright, shining screen. So I can only destroy one thing. So one of these is getting countered, the other one's going to destroy. Yep. Ooh, hello. What the fuck does this do? Hazard's on Dying Fury, what the fuck? Okay, so your Lightless Petal's going away. You're going to get Ray of Flame and you're going to get Fortune Soul. Alright, so we're both getting new hands. Well, Tower Bolt's got a win condition, which is nice. Just hope they can't do that again. They do have a full hand, though, which is unfortunate. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yep. I mean, they need to find answers to my cards before they can actually kill me, so there is that. Act on Impulse for one mana seems pretty good. Okay, we already seen that get played. Why are these cards all good? These all come from the graveyard? This is their graveyard. This is not. I'm so confused with what's going on right now. This is a bonus round. That was another bonus round, sweet. Oh, they're all exiled because I have a Leyline Avoid in play. That's right. Yeah, they had a few spells in their graveyard they could cast still. I forgot that all... This is their exile. The reason this exile is so big right now is because I have Leyline and Void in play, which is what I was missing there. <laughs> the bonus round is going to make this so I might just lose anyway. Bonus round is actually pretty good right here. This deck is really annoying. I can't stand the card bonus round the way it works on MTGO. Oh god, they get a copy for each time they've done this. Is that how this deck is so disgusting? Wow. They have zero cards in their deck now. So they have five cards in their hand that they... Oh no, they still have all the cards they exiled. Cast Metamorphose would be really funny if you did that.
That's what we got there. It's a mid deck. Um, well, yeah, thank okay. you. Um, we can turn to a chalice for two. So I think that's kind of what we're doing right here. Seems right. I think Leyline of the Void really does hurt them a lot. Oh, fucking. Everyone's trying. Everyone really been dying. Not great for us. Um, so Wasteland, then I can't turn two chalice for two. Really want a challenge for two though. Whatever. I'm just gonna go. Give them one turn to not hopefully not kill me. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, the second room medallion. Yeah, I kinda need like a chalice for three at this point. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay. Uh, well, we're in Chalice for two now. Cast that. We're going to discard a Martial Arts, I guess. We'll discard a Swamp. Kind of want the. Uh, kind of want to make sure I get black or white, so I kind of want to scrub land here. Um, Plus has four cards in their hand. Yeah, we're gonna. We're just gonna Chalice for two. Oh, shuts down the Burning Wish. Shuts down most of the rituals. Especially Metamorphos, which is huge. Does not shut down their Seething Songs. They're on Impulses, though. They were Forged Souls. And that's kind of my concern at the moment. But, Let's see how it goes. Let's match my Ruby Dalliance, too. What a monster. So I'm going to Wasteland their Ancient Tomb here. Doesn't restrict them on mana really enough because they have double Ruby to can't cast that anyway, so it's gonna hit waste on their ancient tomb. Kind of keeps them off like Reforged Soul, basically. Not hugely relevant, but it's certainly relevant enough to do something. Reforged Soul could be exactly what they need to just reload and get something going. So we're probably trying to be each opponent loses a card, discards a card, we draw a card. Um, definitely want to make sure we're limiting our opponent's hand size. Uh, Utter End's a good start. Can answer one of these removed aliens, make it a lot harder for my opponent to go off. Act on impulse for one mana is really fucking good. So I can play Lotus Petal here. Wait, what the fuck? Did they play the Ancient Tomb from their exile? No, that can't be it, right? Play cards exile. Okay, so you can play Ancient Tomb from Act on Impulse. Okay. Oops. Get fucked. <laughs> so, yeah, hitting Burning Wish I really is my. I think that's like my favorite part about Chalice for two. Just hitting Burning Wish is huge. Love to get a Chalice for three down so we can hit bonus round and all that bullshit. Um, and yes, I definitely need bullshit on all that. Before I play land, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Each one discards a card, you draw a card. Let's see what we draw. Definitely going to be other ending one of these removed aliens. If I draw a wasteland here, I can hit their other ancient tomb. Get you this card, buddy. Uh, hit a burning wish. So I think it's card in sweet. Um, I'm just gonna play Gargoyle Castle here, and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and utter end that one of those rebooted aliens. I'm gonna get the newer board one because fuck that. Did I not make a white mana at some point? I didn't make a white mana. Okay, so white, black, other end, target that. Why is it doing that? Stop being an asshole, MTGO. MTGO, all you do is be an asshole. You need to just really stop that because it's really getting annoying. Alright, so next turn I'm gonna have to reset Kaya. Right of flame. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Bonus round, that's obnoxious. Alright, this card's really fucking annoying. Okay. 
encountered. Oh yeah, bonus round kind of works like Paramount Ascension where it puts the spell in the stack anyway. Hit. So three cards to hit Burning Wish, Bonus Round, Lotus Battle, H2, Metamorphos, Hazards, and Dying Fury. Uh, at the moment, I can Metamorphos for one mana. I guess a copy that's two, three, four, five. They're one mana off from casting Hazards, and Dying Fury currently. They do have a land drop, I believe. Did they play this Ancient Tomb this turn? I don't think so. They've had the Ancient Tomb in play. Yeah, cast that. Oh, they still get a copy of Burning Wish anyway. Yeah, if they make a million goggles, that'd be hilarious because I have so much hate for that. If they made a million goggles, I'd be so happy right now. They play a land for turn? I don't think they played a land for turn, so they could still play that Ancient Tomb if they wanted to. And uh, they'd have more Colossus mana at least. Shattering Spree. Okay. I don't know. What does Shining Spree really do here? Okay, yep, you get a Metamorphos. Two red. So you can Shattering Spree two things. You can kill my diamond, my Chalice of the Void. I don't know where that really gets you, though. I guess if you kill my Mox Diamond, I'm really annoyed. Because it's less color than I can have. Oh, I guess you get a copy from Bonus Rot anyway, so it's pretty much a freebie at this point. Did you not target my Mox Diamond? Oh, okay, I didn't target my Mox Diamond. Okay, that's good. Happy about that. But now that two drops are open, which kind of sucks for me. <sighs> Test Ritual, it's a lot of mana. There's the Ancient Tomb they had. Now they can take a cast of Hazards and Dying Fury. Oh yeah, they did find another bonus round. That card's really fucking annoying. Can you just go ahead and make a bunch of goblins? So I can play this nice Souls Betrayal or this Tabernacle and really blow you out. I wish it signified which cards could actually be played off, a bonus, off the fucking Active Impulse. So I can get a better idea of what here is actually in play, essentially. So they have a lot of hazards and dying period currently. So what is it? Like bonus round and down, basically. They can do this turn. I think Reforge and Soul, if they copy that many times, just kills them. I think they can't cast their Forge of Souls. Most runs are really fucking annoying card. Look incredibly annoying. This one's just dead to Grave Shot though, so they could just Burning Wish for a Grave Shot at this point. Do people that play this deck always have to be assholes about it? Burning Wish to go get like their sideboard basically if they wanted to. Well, we're not safe against Grape Shots. So we are very fucking dead. We are very dead nerds. With Grape Shot, we're very dead. Tendrils of Agony as well. Jesus Christ, we are very, very dead. Alright. I don't want to sit here and watch my opponent jerk off basically, so we're going to stop here. And we went 05 in this league. I don't, maybe once before I went 05 in the league. It, yeah. That was really bad. <laughs> um, that deck is miserable to play against because bonus round, creating all those triggered abilities is really freaking obnoxious. Um, yeah, this is where the deck is. Kind of already talked about changes I would make. 
I think like these four cards go for um, two Tux Deluge, one Leyline Avoid, one Other End. I think those four go for Sorcerer Spyglass. Um, one Crow Mox, the Buried Ruin, probably go an extra Ancient Tomb in here. Um, if the three chains become um, smokestacks again, two Gargoyle Castle um, become three Flagstone. Which means I'd probably cut, like, I'd have to cut another land for that, though. I don't know what I'd cut for that, though. Yeah, I'd have to think about that one. Maybe just cut the Crocus for the third Flagstone. Like, Crocus is, like, a random decent, but, like, Crocus is mostly just, like, can get you against, like, Sneak and Show, basically, and, like, we have Humilities and stuff like that for Sneak and Show, so I don't think that's really necessary. Um, well, we have Humilities, the Abyss. Those are all decent against Sneak and Show, usually. Um, Upset's just kind of like a, what the fuck, why not? That card should probably get the hell out of here. I go on Smokestacks, I finished just earlier, going Soaring Lord of Innistrad, um, instead of Kaya. So going to be like four token producing planeswalkers. Um, Obzak can easily go. Um, Obzak become like a third utter end of the main. Soren can easily go. Like Obzak and Soren are just kind of like a why not? Let's have some fun. Um, and they were okay overall, but not really anything to write home about. But those can become like other lock pieces as well. Like you could get like an extra moat in here, I guess. You can get like an extra chains or a fourth Trinisphere, I guess. But I'm kind of I'm leaning get away from some of the artifacts because it becomes very awkward without having as many colored mana sources. So I want to increase my colored mana sources and increase my colored mana cards. So that way Chrome Mox is almost never dead. Um, our mana can always support our permanents. So I'm not sure exactly where to go from here. But I think that three chains become three smokestack. One Chrome Mox becomes like, I don't know. I'm actually going more towards artifacts again by doing the smokestacks for chains. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I'd have to think about this one a little bit. Maybe Humility is just coming to the main board. That would make sense. Like one, two, three. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't quite make room for Humility as the main board, but that would be fine. But yeah. Well, thank you very much for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, I want to say thank you to Card Hoarder and Hedgester Coast for making the stream possible. If you don't didn't know, they are the ones that supply me with cards. And, uh, make the ability to stream all these random jank decks and burn ticks uh, a little more alive because <laughs> I would not be able to afford this many weird decks that I play uh, otherwise. But thank you very much for coming by and tuning in, and I'll see you all later. Have a good night.